All right, students, let me show you how you're going to use this Ionic Puzzle Piece activity. When you first open the activity, you're going to go ahead and click on Use Template in the upper right-hand corner. The purpose of this activity is to try various different positive cations and negative anions together to create completed ionic compounds. So notice here on the left-hand side, this is where you're going to be creating your puzzle. And you have all these puzzle pieces on the right side. Notice that there are cation pieces. These are positively charged pieces. And anion pieces. These are negatively charged pieces. When you put these pieces together, you have to follow a couple of guidelines as outlined here in the upper right-hand corner. Namely, you can use as many cation and anion pieces as you need, but the total charge when they're all put together should equal zero. So I have the selection tool selected, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose a piece. My first box, notice, says I need a cation with a positive two charge, so I'm either going to choose calcium or iron with positive two charge. Here I'm going to go ahead and choose calcium, click on it, and push control D to duplicate it. Notice I'm not actually going to move this piece because I might need to use it multiple times. So here, my cation is a positively two charged piece. Now I need an anion that's a negatively one charge. So I can choose any one of these right here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose fluorine and make a copy. Notice that these pieces stick onto each other. I can drag it over or use my arrows to move it around. But this puzzle isn't quite finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another puzzle piece with a negative one charge. Notice that the guideline says that I can only stick to two types of elements. So because I already chose fluorine, I'm going to choose fluorine again. Now my puzzle piece is complete, and I can make another one. Here in the guideline, it says make at least two examples of completed puzzle pieces for each of these four squares right here. There's lots of combinations, lots of ways you can mix and match these puzzle pieces, and these are how ionic compounds work. All right, go ahead and try it yourself, and when finished, submit the assignment into Schoology. Good luck.